Alright you guys, welcome back. Miss Survival. Miss Survival. So since last episode I just basically slept. Um, I got some meat. I ate some meat. Hmm. We've got arrows. What we're looking for is to go attack a bandit camp. I'm carrying around this gun, but I have no ammo for it. And to make the reloading bench... Let's see, I can melt. Let's see, maybe, what do we have? Split in half, I need two of these. I need two of these if they don't glitch again. I had made another one. You need eight of these to make one. And then I've got this stuff. Let's take this. Let's take these out of here for now because we're going to work with it. I'm going to take one of these. And then what do we need again? Um, can't do that either. Okay. So I need four gears. Got these. Need one of those. I need four gears. To make four gears, though, I need four ingots for each gear, I think. And I need ten boards. I've got two. This makes... I think these make... I think those make um, eight each. But, you know what? Let's get this going first. So that makes one. These eight make four. These eight make four. And I have three, which is useless to me. Okay. I know you can split them up and stack them and all that stuff. Okay. Now I need to make two of these do, 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 do. Do, we're gonna attack the bandits trust you guys all right there's ten as you know leading up to this episode in between last one and this I'm thinking man you know it's I'm missing something right because look I'm definitely miss look at got all these guns I mean I've got I've got three, two 45s, two of these, an M4 and a shotgun, an M4 and a shotgun, right? I've got all these guns and no bullets, no bullets. So how many spots do I have over here? I don't know what to do with this thing. It's a blueprint. So, shotgun, shotgun, that, take that M4 over here. Two M4s, two pythons, two shotguns, two uh, 1911s, and then this stuff, which, which is for this here. But I have to upgrade the bench. Uh, to upgrade the bench, I need another four gears plus 15 of that stuff. So I'd have to go around axing um, more cars, which I'd like to get the benches. You know, I'd like to get them set up to see what they do. Let's see. We're, we're, that stuff's melting down right now. So we should have... We have the wood and we have the iron. We should have this. I think we're going to be light on gears. I'm going to make another eight worth. Those are all being used. Right, we'll make another eight here. I think it'd be faster if I split it. Let's try this. Split in half. If I go four and four, does it melt faster? 29 minutes. I don't know. I don't know if that... I, I, I guess I should have looked 
what it was when it was all stacked together. Anyway, so we got that stuff going. I'm pretty sure it's four. Yeah, it's four per. So we're going to end up with eight. That's two gears. And this should be eight. This should be four gears. Should be four gears. I don't think I left any. I think the gears would have been in here. I don't need this stuff for the gears. See, we're doing good on components. It's this. I find that a lot of these survival crafting games, right? And I'm speaking about Hold Your Own. A lot of these games, they become reliant on one resource, right? One resource. That resource is common to a ton of recipes, right? And the abundance of that resource dictates, you know, how, how you can end up playing the game. So these are done. Yeah, these are done. There's four. Let's see if I actually get this ingot this time. See, I'm, I'm not going to stack. Last time I drug it onto here and it disappeared. Like, legit. Legit disappeared. So this says it's taken two hours. <clears throat> that means these should be done next to me because they were at 29 minutes, right? Yeah, they're done. The heat is not on there anymore. There's four. There's two. There's two. We have two gears. We need two more gears. That should be everything I need. I got the wood. I got the gears. I got the copper. I've got the iron. Should be able to make the bench. Okay. I'm just curious to see if it's like ridiculous to where you can't even, you know, you're not going to be, be able to make ammo. Hammer and saw. Huh? I've got a saw. I've got a hammer. What? What? What you talking about, man? It reminds me of making mud in green hell, right? Do 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 do. Okay. Here it is. No lead tips. No lead tips needed. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> if, you, if you know anything about ammo, you put the gunpowder in the casing, right? In the cartridge. It's just going to fall out the end. So, one for one makes one bullet. One for one makes one bullet. One for one. one or one for two makes one bullet. And one... So this is a... Di look at This is um, brass... Brass. That's not how you spell gauge, but okay. Um, what is this? Zinc? Iron? 7.62 by 51. Those look like Russian steel case ammo, so I don't know how to make that ammo. But you know what? I don't even have this gun. So the real question is, between... M4 ammo, 9mm ammo, because I don't know how to make this either. These are both equal. You would think that this would be more powerful and more accurate. So to make this stuff, to make this stuff, I think I need to upgrade this. See, here's the ammo, nothing. Here's the lock. Upgrade workshop to unlock to make the gun, the gun, the gun, and the gun. How do you make... Alright, where, where do you make... Um, where do you make the actual casing? So we knew we made the mortar and pestle and that's how we created gunpowder. How do you make the casing? Is there another bench that I have to make? Um, 
So this is a repair bench. This is a reloading bench. We got the workbench. This is the only thing. Moonshine still we don't have. We have saw machine. We have repair bench. We have furnace. We have reloading bench. This says it's made to craft ammo. Grill stand. Generator. Lights. Target dummy. So how do you make the bullet casing? It's possible that you do it here once it's upgraded. Like, maybe this is locked, right? Maybe it unlocks not only the ability to make this gun, but to make the ammo for it. It's the only thing I can think of. It's the only thing I can see right now. Um, to do that, yeah, I need to go. Ch I would need to go chop up some cars. I guess we're gonna need to make more gear. I might as well melt this. Leave that three. So if you make eight. That takes 30 minutes. If you make four, that takes 30 minutes. So as long as you put it in a different row, it could be eight, eight, and eight. So we'll have to go chop up more stuff. I, I think it'll be worth um, worth checking out, right? I think it'll be worth checking out to see what that unlocks. Um, and in order to make that stuff, it's a combo of these two. And I don't have that many. You got to combo it up before you make it into an actual ingot. Jeez, the whole day's gone by. You make stuff, man. It just, the day flies by. That's all right. We're going to attack, attack that base, you guys. Trust me. I will. I'll just stop whatever I'm doing and, and go do it. But I think I kind of want to unlock the, upgrade the, the bench. And it take the, um... 51 on this. I'll, I'll even take another one. I don't care. Um, put this. Th I don't know what to do with this. You can drop it. You can't put it there. I don't know what this unlocks. It says structure building. I, I don't. I'm not sure what to do with that. Um, let me make sure that I'm doing what I need to do. We're gonna go and get some more cars. So we need a total of how many gears? Four, which means I need 16. So I basically I need 30, I need 30, um, 30 of this, 27 of them, right? Are you okay? Yeah, see, 4.43, I don't think these things, I think the car is just, you put it all in there, you're done. Maybe you can put like 0.1 liter in there and just drive forever. I don't know. Doesn't seem like it's going down. I know it did before. Like I said, when it used to use up the spark plugs and all that kind of stuff, that thing would it would go down. Um, I have this place down here. There's a car. That's not what I thought it was. Double check it while we're here, right? Might as well see if anything respawned. There, that's what I was looking for. I've been messing up my axes. You know, chopping on <laughs> chopping on cars and things so if i can find axes i think that maybe this is it. there's there's one drivable and one i think one non-drivable yep okay give me give me your stuff oh, there's a trailer over there too i might be able to chop that trailer up so i said we need a total of 30 30 scrap and then we can upgrade that bench and see if it's like... I'm curious because it's got... Um, we have broken gun parts, right? Obviously, that's some component to making a gun. But I've been able to find like every 
every gun in the game except a sniper rifle. Every gun in the game except a sniper rifle. Can I break... Another engine right there. Another engine, man! I guess... Maybe if you wanted to have an SUV and a pickup truck. I mean, I have a SUV. It's... I have an engine. I have a battery. I could probably go back there and get it. I'd have to hoof it over there, though. Somebody give me a ride! Yeah, so I pl I've played I've played a few of these back to back, you guys. So if you guys have, uh, I always just like to give you guys a heads up. If you've been uh, another battery. Oh, it's not pick upable. If you guys have been giving me like. Um, comments and stuff it's because i think today today's still that day that's saturday saturday the 6th so i've played i think four back to back look when i get in here and i'm having fun especially on on like fridays and saturdays i i try and knock some out because if it lands on like a monday or wednesday when when i need to get some more videos play some games it's harder because, oh shoot, there's a, so this is an active bear place. This is an active bear place here. Is he gonna come after me? Oh shoot, I need to keep my eyes on him. If it makes sense, I, I like to, you know, not let it fall onto a Monday or a Wednesday because that's my really long days between um, recording, you always win, and then streaming, and then rend uh, editing and rendering all those videos, then uploading them, then play for Meat Wagon. So, like Friday, Saturday, those days I try and get past the stream days. But today, well, yesterday, so Friday, a little real life stuff for you. Um, Friday, I went on a adventure. Right, I went on an adventure in the uh, Hippo, which is my Land Cruiser. So I went on an adventure. What I'm doing is I'm getting out there, enjoying the weather, and going through trails, tracks, forests. But I'm also looking for cool places to go for Can We Survive? Like um, the track to go, like, you know, at least two, three hours worth of, maybe more, at minimum, two to three hours worth of off-roading. And then to find the end location of that would be some kind of really cool campsite. That actually dropped a car battery that time. Some kind of cool campsite, right? So Friday I went out and did that. I got lost. I re actually recorded it. And I should be making a video for, um, for Chris X. I'm going to eat and get some stamina back. And... It's super fun. And then when I came back, you know, I played some uh, video games, right? So then today, that was yesterday, which was a Friday. And you guys are probably watching this on a Wednesday. But Friday, the uh, 5th, and then pretty tired. But I got up Saturday. This is what was so crazy. So it was like 95 degrees on Friday. And it was uh, cloudy. It was overcast. But it was hot. It was 95 degrees and cloudy. But the clouds, you know, big clouds, not overcast, but just cloudy. And the clouds were moving pretty good. And as I went up to elevation, it, I actually dropped 10 degrees. So talked about that in the video. I haven't made that video yet. I'm going to make that after this for tomorrow. Yeah, I know. It's, it's complicated. Anyway, I woke up this morning, Saturday the 6th, and it was not a cloud in the sky. It was windy. And usually in the summer, it's hot wind, like those Santa Ana type winds. It was cool wind. It was 77 degrees. Not a cloud in the sky, pure sunlight. So I jumped in the Raptor and I went to a whole a desert location, right? Another area where I wanted to go uh, check. You know, I was going to go up there, but that bear's up there. Another location um, to, you know, and I drove, I think I did about six, 
I did about six hours worth of uh, off-road driving. And then came to a locked gate. <laughs> Private property. But anyway, I was looking, you know, doing the same thing, basically. But I didn't record that. I was just out enjoying time. Found this jump. I actually jumped the Raptor. I think I got the front tires about two inches off the ground. <laughs> but I was I was six hours away from civilization, you know, so I didn't want to break anything. But I found a road that had these kind of little jumps on them. And I found a couple more later on after that one that I think I could jump the Raptor pretty good on those. That I might go back to that at some point. All right, how are we doing here? 8, 16, 24, 25. We're getting close. A few more cars. So just basically passing on, you know, some of the... Like, that's my weekend. So Friday and Saturdays is what I, air quote, consider my days off, right? It's my days off. Cause my days off would be when I'm not recording for You Always Win. You know, I'm very... I'm very strict with my with my time on there, right? Very, very dedicated, very strict. It's like having a job, you know, and and going to work for somebody. When someone else is involved, you know, I'm I'm not going to be the guy who's late. I'm not going to be the guy who says, uh, "I don't feel good. Let's not record today." You know, that, I'm not that guy. So. When I say my days off, it's basically I get to do whatever the heck I want to do. And usually it's get out, go on a drive, go off-roading, go do whatever it is I'm going to do, right? And um, work on Meat Wagon 22 videos. I found a gear. That is super beneficial right there. That's going to help out because that means we only have to make three gears. That saves us four of these guys so we should be actually we're right there and we got a gear all right let's do that we should be fine i think we have enough 100 percent 28 percent drop banner nooner nooner let's go to the house I just, you know, it's interesting to me to know, like, what people do, you know, with their time. And I thought it might be just interesting to you guys. So, basically. So, through the week, I still do Meat Wagon videos. You know, I play through the week. But I try, you know, I try on Mondays and Wednesdays. It's just my really long days. Because I can't start playing Meat Wagon stuff until after I finish rendering and editing the, uh, the You Always Win stuff and uploading that. And so it's usually like 9, 10 o'clock at night. And these are hour-long videos that I do, so... Yeah. Yeah. You get it. Ooh, that's some pretty good driving through there. Super fun, though. And then, if I can, Thursday... Thursday... And, you know, with the whole, you know, virus lockdown thing, we shifted our hours. And... We actually record, we start recording in the middle of my day. Like, my day is toasted because of it. We start recording at noon. So I can't really go anywhere extreme before that. And afterward, I go lazy. So Thursdays, you know, I can get up. I know I don't have anything after recording. Sometimes I'll go out and do a little adventure stuff. So, like when I made that Toyota video, um, when I made that Toyota video, for the Land Cruiser. Ooh, it almost messed it up again. Um, so we need four. Let's melt these down. This will make a gear. Those two should make some gears. What else did I need besides four gears? Anyway, I'd go out, you know, I did like three different uh, areas when I did that one. So I went out like on a Thursday and a Friday, and a Saturday, and I was able to use that different times to do, you know, short little things, because I use a little segment from here, a little segment from there, then I did the main part of the video. It's, I don't know, it's just sharing. Sharing my stuff with you guys. Okay. We needed 15, so we got six, 17. Let's uh, make sure. 
All right, we've got that. We need four gears in one of those. All right, I think we're going to be good. I think we're going to be good. we got this. Let's see. Oh, I still have, I have batteries already. There, let's put this 100% battery in there and go in my little dump corner here and dump this off. Just dumping stuff there. I put the engine in the, in the truck, didn't I? Yeah. I think we're doing pretty good. I think we're doing pretty good. About ready time to go attack some banditos. I can keep one axe. So I burned through that one axe. That's not bad. And I have, I got the, found the one and got this one. What do we got left here? These are done. Okay, so we need two more gears. Leaves us two. We got three back there. That's five. We could have made one more gear with what we had, but we're good. Nothing in here, right? Nope. Okay. Put these here. That's five. Proceed. Now, what is this going to unlock? We might have, there might be another level. There might be a tier three. I don't know. This is tier two. There's a tier three. not day 22 you guys did you guys miss that all right so this is what we unlocked the ability to make the Colt 1911 so you need to have the broken parts you need to have the broken parts I don't have a hunting rifle this is all I wanted Upgrade level max, level three. Oh, we are upgraded level max. That's right, we were level, it was started at level one, we already upgraded. The next upgrade was from level three to upgrade level max. So how do you make, how do you make bullet casings? I thought maybe this, there would be something involved here. You would think it'd be under, under bullets. Basic quiver, leather quiver, tactical quiver. All right, so we still don't know how to make those. So just by chance, I'm going to do this. I really like these that you don't have to put, you know, wood and stuff in. So that's going to give us one of those. Seriously. You see that? Would it? I wonder if it would have used that up. You know what I mean? Because I put eight in there and it said one. Then I split it into four. I know that this zero and zero. See that? That makes one. That makes one. That th it's to me right now the way it's looking. It looks like that it's useless to have guns. Like, I'm trying to make a bullet casing. This stuff here is impossible to get except in the mine. And if it doesn't respawn, we'll have to go back by that small mine. That would be the, the one that would respawn before the big one. Because I think it was, what, one, one, maybe two days in between the time we went from the small one to the big one? I think it might have been only one day. Maybe when you turn that elevator, I got to go rescue that guy. But we're going to... We're going to uh, sleep, and we're going to go attack the bandit camp. I think it's a good time. Yeah, see, these, the copper, wow, the copper is like no joke. Salt, Peter. Copper is no joke. It takes eight of these to make one copper ingot. Now, granted that copper isn't used in a lot of things, but it is used in making those uh, bullet casings. That one ingot better make... It better make a lot. You know what I mean? It better make a lot of casings. I doubt max it's going to make is eight. It's probably going to make two, maybe four. It's not in here, right? It's not here. I'm trying not to be stupid here. I'm trying to be thorough, but 
Okay, so I checked here. I checked here. No bullet casings. This is a repair bench. This is a reloading bench. In the reloading bench, it says... Maybe if you have the brass, it'll make those. It's the only thing I can think of. Okay, so if you upgrade this... With six... Six iron ingots? Six gears to make a hand grenade? Dude, I was chucking them at that dude's feet. It didn't even do anything. That's still burning. All right, let, let's sleep. We'll double check that before we leave. I'd like to use some of these guns that I have, you know? What the heck? Dude, don't wake me up. Don't wake me up. I'm trying to sleep, brother. I don't know what that... What, is it a bear walking by? Is it a bandit walking by? What's actually waking me up in the middle of the night? Could be turning to mist. I don't know. Right, I need to put... I'll put this... Wait. There might be room because I didn't... There's a little bit of room. Just a bit outside. So we have two more metal scraps. All right, this one's done. No. It says zero. You have to... How do you make the dang cartridges? Dude. I know there's not really that... You know, this, here's the thing. There's not that many enemies. That's probably the what I'm missing here. You know, I'm, I won a thousand rounds of, of 5.56. Five, but this game, there's not that many enemies. I'm going to put this in here. No. Uh, there's not that many enemies, so... Maybe that's maybe that's what I'm missing, on, missing out on. Is I'm thinking, you know, I want all this ammo because I want to go guns a-blazing. But there's like three bandits over there. There was three to four at that other place, right? There's not that many bandits, and there's not really that many infected until the mist comes in. And even then, um, there's not that many. So, yeah, I, I may be just thinking incorrectly here. So, this is a game about using your bow and arrow. That's okay. What other game? What other game... It's like going ham with the bow and arrow. Hold your own, right? Streaming? Right? Same thing. You you get I even made well no, I just I did finally I did finally just make ammo. I made some uh 762 by 39 ammo for the for the SKS sniper, right? So in that I was able to make ammo pretty easily, I think. Let's take four. You see, these are not decaying as long as they stay here. So this is a good... If you find salt, this is a good way to do it because you can leave them there until you, need, until you want them and they're not decaying. As soon as you pull them off, they start to decay. Just leave them on there. They're drying. What time is it? Six o'clock in the morning. Perfect time to attack a bandit camp. All right, we have basic, basic, and hunting. We're gonna go basic on these fools. We're gonna go basic on them. Now, I know it's close, but I might as well just drive over there. Because every time I say, oh, it's close, I'm just gonna run over there. I'm like, why didn't I bring in the truck? Okay, <laughs> there's my house. <laughs> Here's the road. It's really close. Oh, shoot. Okay. Apparently, this isn't a four-wheel drive. <laughs> it's not a four-wheel drive. Perfect. For the optimal getaway. I gotta watch out. The tower guy with the hunting sniper could be the death of me. Speaking of death of me, save. Maybe they're all sleeping still. 
Maybe they're all sleeping still. Oh, shoot. Okay, he's got a pretty fast bolt action. Shoot. I don't know where to aim. I don't know where to aim. Maybe I'm too far away. It's always aim at the off the right side of them to hit them. Oh, that hit him. I saw the blood. See, it looks like it's fine way left. I've already gone almost through 16 arrows. All right, just went around the corner. Maybe that other dude died already. There's no faster way to... Oh, you can add them. You don't have to pull that out. You guys have probably been saying that. <laughs> you guys have probably been saying that. Though. You don't need to pull the quiver out of your stinking thingy. It's my health. Oh my god. That shot... That shot did, yeah. Does this give me? It gives a little bit. I wonder if it broke my uh, 76. I could use this. I could use some dang vest armor. It's right in that doorway up there. So I'm trying to look at the trace of the arrow. If I had a gun, I'd run up there. You know, I'd run up the stairs and surprise attack them. I do just walk back inside. Maybe she's going to be looking. It looked like a, a girl sniper. Maybe she's looking out that way if i not going to look out this window. Oh, shoot, dude. Yeah, I have no idea where this stupid thing's going. Let's just go through. Just went through the tree. I was going to try and... Do we have to go back and make that target, dummy? Dude, where are my... Where are my arrows going? Hmm. This is difficult with... Um... There was one time... I... I'm going to take these hunting arrows out. And I'm going to put all these in there. Put those down there. There was one time I actually had a dot. And it was looking at a, a blue container, you know? I was looking at a blue container and the dot appeared. Right now, I'm... I know I hit the guy once, but it looked like I hit him in the calf. The dude on the ground when I was getting sniped at? Yeah, my health is not going up. You know what? It's 7 o'clock in the morning. Take a nap. Should get my health up. There's no other way to get your health up other than drinking some some of that booze. I guess. 
Dude, if I get if I get sniped again, I'm gonna be dead. Where to aim? That hit him in the shoulder blade. May have hit that dude. What? I was just uncon what okay there there was a crazy and your camp may be robbed what what was that your camp can be robbed is that when they come to your camp listen there was a weird delay like what hit me did someone come out there and bonk me over the head with with something they have like a mallet? Mallet! Mallet! I am mallet! Mallet! Oh, uh, mallet! Mallet! I'm sorry. Getting it carried away. Let's see. Did I get. Okay, yep. Yeah, I'm there. I'm there. My health is there. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Alright, um. What if I should go back and get some of that booze? Test this booze theory out. I mean, sleeping is the only way to recover. So I'm carrying around these bandages for no reason. I I haven't... I think I bled early in this game. Remember I hurt my ankle or something? But since then, since I got boots on and stuff, I haven't bled. I just completely lost health. So I've been carrying around these bandages for 22 days. Because day one, I hurt myself. You guys, are you guys seeing like the little things that I'm picking up on? Yeah. Oh, shoot. I know you guys are thinking I'm aiming right, but that's, that's where you have to aim. I hit both of those guys. I saw a little... <laughs> Apparently, they can snipe through the rock. I know I was I know I was out. I my left shoulder was exposed. My left shoulder. Maybe maybe Oh shoot. You guys listen, this game depends on this bow. They tell you at the beginning, make the bow, you're going to need it. Silent kills. The problem I'm having is I can't aim with it. We're going to I'm going to have to make a dummy. I'm going to have to make a dummy. I think I'm about to make a dummy. Where was that? Wasn't there a target dummy? Target dummy. The arrows will not damage the dummy. <sighs> I'll make a dummy. You think there's something in my settings? I mean, I saw. Aim. Flashlight. Peak left, peak right. Q and T. Who's going to reach over to T? Oh my God. Yeah, there's nothing here. Move, destroy structure. Yeah. Oh, what do you know? He runs it on ultra. 100%. There was a dot. Do you guys remember? I was over where I rescued Kate, right? I was out front looking at the blue container, which was their walkthrough entrance, and I aimed, and a dot came up. I'm like, what? What's that dot? 
And the weird thing, the dot was way off to the left, which kind of explained why... I wonder if I could run these dudes over in the... Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot! You know what? Screw these guys. Can they shoot me inside the car? Yep, they can. they can hit me in the gun. And they can stop. I think they broke my truck. Okay, those guys are not to be reckoned with, all right? <laughs> Remember I said uh, take on the thing with the bow? I lied. All right, very important, you guys. Very important. How the heck do I make bullet casings? I'm gonna go check the mine. I'm gonna go check the mine, see if anything respawned. So if you guys know, it's really important about the respawn rate. Look, they don't tell you anything. I don't know how you guys are figuring it out. The wiki is lackey. The wiki is lacking. I think they blew up my truck when I backed into him. I tried to drive over that guy, he's like, no. I am a brick wall. I'm gonna go back to the mine, the little mine, see if it's uh, see how it is. Oh shoot! Okay, we're fine. This is a little four wheel slide. Now I cleared some cars. Is it gonna make it any easier to get through here? Wait. Hold the phone. Hold on. Did I? Yeah, I didn't bring my. Oh my god, I'm a, such an idiot. I didn't bring my axe with me. Did I not clear that car? And that car? And that car? These things respawn. The car. The two cars in the uh, gas station are back. Right there. One, two. I cleared that one, that one, this one, that one. These cars are respawning. It's, it's only been a day. It's only been a day. Wasn't it? The beginning of this video, we were collecting 30 scrap metal so we could make the uh, the upgrade, right? For the gears. Those cars respawned already. I wonder if it's because I quit the game and came back in. So, what I'm getting at here is maybe... Oh, shoot. This, I forgot it's not four-wheel drive. Maybe... I'm going to see if these cars are over here. They are. Remember? We got the battery from these two. So, it's possible that other things don't respawn. But those cars there will respawn, which means you can keep getting metal scraps and components. Right? Which, that's good. That's good. That's one of the big things. Now, are the ores going to respawn? I can't believe I was right next to this cave that time. Oh my god. So stupid. Always back in. Always back in. Be ready to escape. All right. It looks like they respawn. And guess what? The pick's in the truck. <laughs> God, that's got to be so infuriating to you guys. Oh, my God. I legit am not absent-minded in real life. Like, I'm... Here's, look, here's the thing what makes it fun for me. In real life, I'm... Oh, dude, I overthink. I think on top of thinking, on top of planning, on top of organizing. Are you picking up what I'm putting down? See that? Don't go in the wall. So in video games, it's like, you know, it's like Chris X versus Meat Wagon, right? Remember that video I did where I was on both those two... Idiots were on the same screen together. Yeah, that was fun. 
You guys are missing out if you don't. Chris X is like once a week, maybe. You guys should definitely watch every one of those videos. Anyway, it's like your, you know, your alter ego, right? You've got Clark Kent and you got Superman. So um, I, I guess Meat Wagon would be Clark Kent and Chris X. Not really. I'd be Batman. I don't know. Look, it's my um, my escape, right? It's like those people that are, they act like tough guys. You know, they're, I'm tough. I'm tough. But in real life, they're not, they're not tough. Like keyboard warriors or something. I don't know. That, that, that's not a good explanation. That's not a good explanation. I thought that elevator would come up in here somewhere. I think that would have been awesome. Oh, yeah, it seems like these are respawning. Now, the big question is, does the burker, burker, did the burker, are you little burker, does the berserker respawn? So my point is that in video games, it's fun for me to not be so, why do you think, uh, you guys, some of you guys know this, because you guys, you guys all are pretty dang smart. You're all pretty, there's some of you guys that are pretty clever out there. And I, I greatly appreciate that. We got to keep this on us. Um, that's the joke. I'm going to, I'm going to let you guys in on a little secret. We're going to see if we can find that other, uh, mine from this way. Those watch, I go all the way around and it's like literally right here. Um, here's the, here's the inside joke. Oh, shoot. Come on, just give me some four-wheel drive. You guys ready for the inside joke? Only a few of you guys make it this far, so you're gonna you're gonna have the inside track here. This is the joke. The no math thing, right? No math during the making of this stream. No math during the making of this video. You guys get it now? The joke is. Oh shoot, dude, seriously? Oh, there goes the bumper. In real life, I'd use math and physics and chemistry all day, every day. This is the serious side. That was the, I'm working, I got to get this done. La, 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 la. You know what I'm saying? That's that side. In the video game side, I don't want to think like that. I don't want to be, um, wait, is this the bandit area? Dude, this isn't a shortcut. This doesn't feel like a shortcut. This doesn't feel like a sh the short way. This feels like the long way. There's the road. Are you guys picking up what I'm putting down yet? The idea is to, like, uh, the difference between someone like, um, like, I'm, I'm logical, analytical, technical. I'm not artistic, right? Left brain, right brain. Okay? So in, in, in work, in real life, logical, technical, analytical, that's it. Not abstract, not artistic. I'm not, I can't do that. I don't think that way. But here, the meat wagon side is not the logical, analytical type thing. I try to be more dreamy, <laughs> more dreamy and artistic, right? It makes it, it's a different side and it makes it more fun. It's almost like, you know, me watching something else. It's relaxing. It's condescending. No. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm uh, I'm making it not as uh, self-explanatory as I really wanted to. But that's the joke. That's the, I've never told anyone that that's the whole joke behind the the um, no math. Right, I'm not seeing anything yet. There was something here last time. Some copper. So it seems that these respawn. Um, I'm thinking you might have to leave the game, like give it a day or two in game, and then but make sure you actually leave the game and come back. So we answered you guys. We answered one of the questions together right in here. Well, two questions. One was how do we make iron ore? Well, iron ingots. You get the iron ore. Two, yes, these things respawn. The cars respawn, but I don't think that the components and everything else that you initially pick up respawn. Because I think they're to get you started and then 
then you chop up cars. All the more reason why, if you're going to be chopping up a lot of cars, maybe the sledgehammer is better to get. So we need all this stuff. We need gunpowder. We need we need your Peter, saltpeter. This is iron, I think, right here. Zinc. Yeah, it was too. It was the that was the white pimples. Zinky. We're gonna go see if the berserker responds. I mean, he is infected. He should, right? Is that the? No, that's more zinc, I think. I can make more, um, more ingots. I don't know how to make the, oh, that is iron. Okay, they look the same. I don't know how to make the casings yet. That's the question you guys are going to have to come up with. Uh, oh, shoot! Who, who jumped? Who jumped? Who jumped? Who cried at the end when Old Yeller died? Berserker's back. Hey, that's good. You know what we know now? The Berserker comes back and the ores respawn. Yeah. Yeah, I got enough arrows to kill that dude again. Oh, you know what? Do I have food? I have food, I have water. Yeah, let's kill me because he actually dropped. He had some stuff in his inventory. He had a few bullets and some of those. Maybe he'll drop something that we need. Right? Let's see what we can do it with all bow and arrow. Come to Papa! Oh, did you bonk your head? Huh? <laughs> He's totally like the guy from Daylight saying he just bonked his head again. Oh, yeah. Oh, I missed that one. <laughs> I was trying to hit him in the mouth with this one. Take a little while. This might take a little time. Dude, he's gonna look like a porcupine when this is over. Junk shot. Oh! <laughs> right in the spine. Go for the junk shots. Those are going to be the most painful. Really annoying. Did a lot more damage. When I had damaged him a lot with guns and the grenades, that's a few arrows you gotta use. Come here. Come closer. Come closer! Not that close. Close up. Yeah, 
kicks away each time. Something you know, I was trying to hit him before with the pickaxe. It wasn't working. Dude, you gotta be bleeding from every orifice. Oh shit! You actually have to draw the let you release it. arrows in the back of his neck. One right in his heart right there. That's a good shot. And that wasn't. Spamming the button. I don't like it when it says that. Click it, then it goes, nope, I don't think so, buddy. What if, like, those arrows are, like, stuck in them, but they're not actually retrieving them, and I run out of arrows? And I don't get them. Oh, right in the mouth, dude! That was right in his mouth. Look at his mouth. He's got one right down the old pipe. Dude, he shouldn't be able to scream anymore. Until he took his tonsils out with that one. The oh, back of the head. Right in the mouth again. You got need some Listerine there, buddy boy. You stinky. Get pretty far in the future, but as soon as I do, he, he goes to pick up. Come on, you're almost dead. Just let me collect some stinking arrows. Yeah, not very good on the old arrow collection there. I was spamming the heck out of it, but this should kill him. Longest boss fight ever! Death by basic arrows. That's gotta be insulting. You're a berserker. Dude. He's gonna tell his friends. Oh, dude, don't fall in the stinking wall. And some of the. What did he give me? This thing again, which I have no idea what it is. I don't know what to do with it. Oh, I may have I may have missed a few. That's my arrows from before. Oh, how that arrow got there. There we go. See, that's all I wanted to do the first time. You get lined up, you get all those arrows, but the The actual trigger, like the hitbox to pick things up, is a little bit tight. It's tight like a toyga. All right, how many arrows did I end up getting back? So that. Look at that. Look how many arrows I lost. I had a whole row of these bad boys. Doesn't matter. They're just sticks. Some like in the ground over here somewhere. I think he ate some. All right. Um, was there any loot here? I think this area was all empty until you go under all the way to that end part. Yeah, 
Yeah, see, they they missed a chance here to put put some in here. I think they've definitely missed a chance there. Meaty hungry? Yeah, a little bit hungry. It's you know, after a good fight like that, what else better than have some meat? Just eat some meat. It's like caveman, right? Like caveman style. Oh, I just killed a berserk. It's time to eat some jerky. That's what that is. That dried, salted, juicy. What? Um, I'm going to go with, uh, what the deuce? Apparently they're triplets. Apparently he... Remember last time... Wait, last time I didn't kill him, I went all the way to the end, I came back, and I finished him off, right? So, this time I killed him, then peeked down, and then came back, and he was back, baby. So, speaking of how fast respawns, that dude is no joke. That was a no joke respawn right there. Like, 40... 45 seconds? Okay. Something to keep in mind. Something to definitely keep in mind. Woo! We came out during the daylight this time. So we got... Yeah, we didn't get much. The copper... God, you need so much copper. Oh, that's... Salt Peter. Yeah. You have no idea what to do with this. Other than drop it. I already have one at the house. Why do I need another one? How many blueprints do you need to build things that you can't build? Oh boy. Salt Peter. A little four-wheel drift there, huh? Showing my skills? Showing my skills? Okay, all right, yep. I sp oh, yep, there's my skills. Straight into a stinking tree. Thanks, game. Make me look like an idiot. Yeah, I'm gonna clear this place out. This got an oil pumper there. More than a few bandits there, but I gotta maybe make a target dummy in. See if I can figure out the whole bow and arrow thing. Like I said, maybe you guys play this and you've got a a um, a crosshair reticle, you know, a dot to aim with. I don't. And the only reason why I say that is because I did see it pop up. If I never saw it pop up, I would have thought it was normal. Not to have one. Do, 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 do. How's it going, Kate? All good? All right. So, I mean, I guess. I guess this. And this. this do something like that do these broken yeah they stack grenades for days those don't those stack these don't stack those stack all right some stack some don't you never know that's that that Eight of those. Salt pita. I'm using all of those. Now the iron. Split in half. So it's four and four. Yeah, it'd take a long time to get to that. 
long time to get to that. Anyway, that's going to do it, you guys, for this episode. That was fun. I think I need a little sleeping bag action to get that health back up. But you guys, uh, we answered the question, respawn. The cars respond. The loot responds. The berserker responds. The one looming question I have right now is, how the heck do you make bullet casings? See you guys next time.